for joining us. I'm Laura Garcia Cannon. If you're looking for something fun to do this holiday season, we've got something for you. People across the country have become addicted to scrapping, and there's a new book about it. It's called Real Women's Scrap by author Tazra Dawson. I spoke with her about the popular hobby. Scrapping is becoming huge. It's a wonderful thing for people to do to really celebrate themselves and other people with their albums. Now, I said I haven't tried it because I always think, gosh, I just don't have enough time and it's something that I probably, if to do it right, you need to devote time to. Is that true? You don't necessarily have to devote a lot of time. You can really take it and make it simple. And that's what's really the great thing about scrapbooking. You can spend a lot of time or you can spend a little bit of time, whatever you want to invest in it to really make it for you. Or for someone else, Or for too. someone else. You've got some great examples of taking some great uh, older pictures that you have of family members making a gift out of it. Yes. Actually, I made a tribute album, which is this one for my grandmother for her 90th birthday, which it's hard to find something that someone who's 90 is going to need. And I wanted something that she would be able to really enjoy. And how wonderfully sentimental. These are actual pictures of your family. You started out, I guess your mom gave you an envelope of, of some old pictures. Yes, some old pictures and a manila envelope. And I had, you know, probably about a hundred that I was able to go through. So what do you advise people to do if you're a novice starting out? If you're a novice, I would say the first thing to do is to find those pictures and get them out of storage, like under your bed, get them off the computer and just find them and get them in safe storage. That's the first step. Okay. And you've got an example here of a page that you actually made. Yes. This is your grandfather. That's my grandfather, and he was a hero. He, you know, fought uh -huh. in World War II. And this is a very easy page. It looks great, and it really highlights him. Tell, are you going to, let's see if I can angle it there. This is, and then you can see the bottom here. She put, and these are actual uh, stencils and whatnot. Yeah, these are actually, these are, letters that are cut out of suede paper. And if you go to any local scrapbook store, you can get these cut out really easily. You know, you know, I go into, I love craft stores and whatnot, but, but you get so overwhelmed. Where do you start when, when you're beginning to purchase things? When you start, you start simple. You get an album, uh -huh. you get some adhesives, which will help you get all the stuff okay, stuck down. Okay, I have those too. Check. And then you get a pen so that you can write <laughs> some journaling because you need to include the stories. And then you have your photos and really, that's all you need to get started. Okay, and you've got an example here of what you did to make this page. So let's, um, what we start with is just a simple piece of paper, eight by eight, which is the size of this album. And then what we do for this page is we're gonna actually take and fold the top down so that you can see the double-sided paper underneath. So it adds something really special, but it doesn't take a lot of time. And it coordinates. Yes. And then your tape runner, really quick. And you've got the base down. Now the other elements that we're gonna add are really simple and I've already added them over here. A little bit of ribbon, a button, and then you can just add your photo. Again, just put the adhesive on the back. Mm -hmm. And then you put your photo down. I guess what takes longer is just getting your idea together, maybe yes. the, the medium you're gonna work with. Absolutely, and that's why you do planning ahead of time. Get your photos, organize them by theme, if you wanna do them by ABCs, if you wanna do them by event or date. Get it organized, and then when you actually put it down, it'll go so much quicker for And you. it doesn't, as illustrated here, it doesn't involve always chopping up your pictures, which I'm always no. worried about. Yes. You know, I just don't wanna cut anybody out. <laughs> right, and you don't have to, especially I do not recommend when you're using heritage or older photos, of course. don't cut them. And actually it'd be better to get duplicates and work with the duplicates and save the other ones in a safe album. And then um, if you're using Polaroids, again, don't cut them because they have acids that are going to come out and they're going to ruin your pictures. Right. So other ones you can crop, but you don't have to. Okay, so start uh, early, start easy, and uh, you can then make gifts for other people too. Absolutely. All right, there's even uh, more tips in the book, Real Women Scrap. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.